Now take a look at this mess. That is a drum of green paint meant for tennis courts splattered all over I-85. In the pictures, you can see the tire tracks where people drove through all of this and, of course, all over the cars. Now let's go to a Chopper 9 image from earlier today, and you can see those tire tracks in green stretching down the highway. Our Ken Lemon has more on the accident that caused this mess. It's paint designed for tennis courts, covering two lanes in the last place anyone would choose to play a set. The truck hauling gallons of green paint was the last in a four-car pileup on I-85 northbound at the exit to McCaddenville. Joshua Bruner stopped when traffic ahead slowed to a crawl. He was in this black truck. The only thing I say, the Lord was with us. He said the BMW behind him barely hit his truck, but the truck hauling the paint behind the BMW didn't stop. I was in park, and when I hit it in park, I got hit again. The BMW was pinned between the trucks and the wall. A drum full of paint flew out of the truck's bed, coating the road. I thought it was antifreeze running down the side of the road. The mess snarled traffic on I-85. People who never got close to this green mile were seeing red on side streets. Traffic was backed up for miles on roads bypassing the crash. People who couldn't avoid this may be madder especially if they're just finding green paint on their cars. Troopers say the good news is the paint is water-based and it should wash right off. Give yourself that stopping distance because you never know when that vehicle in front of you could possibly stop abruptly uh, for reasons like this. But what if the paint doesn't wash off their cars? Well, troopers say call them if you drove through that paint and want to get rid of it off your car. You can have the car cleaned by an insurance company of the person hauling that paint. They'd be responsible. Mm -hmm.